What up, what up world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna show you how to license your music. Stay tuned. All right, if this is your first time here, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas. And what I do is make music for the underdog. I started this channel because I wanted to share my music, but I also wanted to share my journey as I build my music career and share those tips and tricks with people like you. So let's get into the content. So this video has been a long time coming. I had to do a lot of studying and a lot of research in order to present this video to you in the right way, in the most accurate way. Way, and I have finally done with that research so I can share it with you. How to license your music. Simply put, music licensing is allowing people to use your music for their media creation. So for example, they can use music in television or commercials or films in order to heighten the experience that the viewer has when watching whatever the content is. So I'm going to go through all the tips that I have in order for you to potentially license your music and then we can go to advanced videos and, and tutorials for each one of these sections later on. The first thing you want to do before you start getting your catalog together and getting your music ready to license is to listen to what exists. You want to watch shows that you like and even watch shows that you don't like in order to see how they use music like yours. And if shows aren't currently using music like yours, you want to see how you can develop your sound to match what people need. Once you've taken some time to listen to a bunch of shows and research those shows that may use your music, you want to start adding your metadata to your music. And I've said this time and time again, metadata is important, not only for the discovery of your songs, but how people are going to use your songs on a regular basis. Adding metadata to your music is relatively simple. You can do it right there on iTunes or some other um, music listening app that's available on your computer. Specifically, in iTunes you want to go to a song that is yours and then you want to go to song info and then in the song info page you will start to fill out all the different parts of that song info section in the comments you want to add a little bit more information and when I get to talking about split sheets that's what you want to add there all the information from your split sheet should go into the comments of your song and then your metadata is ready after you hit OK. After you get your metadata organized, you want to organize all of your lyrics and you could probably do your lyrics first since lyrics is a, a crucial part of metadata, but the order it is it's subjective at this point and you can put your lyrics into a different database and I'll talk about that a little bit later. You want to type out all the lyrics and include every single word and phrase that you use in the song. It's not only helpful for when you distribute your music, but it's helpful in this process too. Speaking of being helpful, I want you to give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far. Be sure to share it with somebody that might get something out of it and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get more music business advice. The next tip is to create a split sheet and what a split sheet is, is basically a list of all the people who have uh, recording ownership or publishing of a song. So those people that help write the song, the composer of the music and the person that writes the lyrics. When you're licensing music, you can get two different payments associated, which is why you need a split sheet. You can get one payment for the master recording and that could be anywhere at, at minimum $500 and then another payment for the publishing owner, so the songwriters, and that's another 500 minimum. As you can see, licensing can be very lucrative if you own all of the music and own all of the master recording. I've even helped you out and I have put on my website um, a sample royalty split sheet that you can use for your own music business and I'll put that link down in the description. The next thing you want to do after you get the music ready, after you get your split sheets ready, after you get your lyrics ready, is upload your music to a cataloging website. And I have a cataloging website called disco.ac. Disco is an industry standard when it comes to pitching music to music supervisor and sync agents alike. I'll quickly show you what my disco looks like. 
So on here, I have a list of songs that I am pitching to music supervisors. And in there, I can also add some extra metadata for the music supervisor and some more information for them when it comes to licensing music. One crucial piece of metadata that I can include in here is called One Stop. And One Stop just means that there's only one person that you need to go to in order to clear this music. If you have music that is not one stop, that's not going to stop you from pitching your music to music supervisors. That's just going to be something that you have to go through. You have to get permission from every single person that has either ownership of the recording or publishing on the record. So after you finish building your catalog, you want to start researching music supervisors to reach out to. I use a website called TuneFind. What TuneFind does is allows you to search for artists that sound like you. If you research that show, you can see what placements are available in that particular episode. And then you can see who the music supervisor is that you need to reach out to. Now, reaching out to music supervisors is kind of tricky. It's not always in your face because otherwise they would get bombarded with a bunch of emails and messages. I recommend that you search them on IMDB or search them on social media in order to help you find their email address. Once you have all of this stuff organized, you are then ready to pitch to music supervisors. Once you find their email, this is what you want to go through in order to uh, pitch to them a specific thing. In the subject, you want to tell them what type of music and what show you are wanting to pitch for. You want to greet the music supervisor by name. You don't want to just say, hey, you. <laughs> let's let's do some work. You want to actually use their name and be polite about it. You want to tell the supervisor what song you heard on that show and what song sounds like yours. And then tell them what song from your catalog would fit into that show potentially. And then you want to provide them a disco link to that song so they can download all of the files if they want to put it into their catalog. Next, you add a short two sentence bio just like mine. Here's an example. My name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I make music for the underdog. Very simple pitch and short bio. Next, you want to close the email with a thank you and include a few items of contact information. You want to include an email address. You want to include a phone number and potentially a couple links to social media. If you need help with any of these things, you can book some time to sit with me for a one hour consultation. In that one hour session, I will help you break down how to earn revenue from your music, get a custom plan for the next six months, and you get my support via email for six months after that. All right, so that's it. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to check out some other videos of mine that I'll put right here on the screen so you can learn more about your music business. Also, go ahead and put your comments down in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them down there. And I appreciate you watching this video. Until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.